in biology today we have to learn about second unit separation techniques already we have to learn in semester 5 okay in that some small portion are given this is the elective paper so first one is spectrophotometry spectrophotometry this is the instrument the instrument used to study the absorption or emission of electromagnetic radiation as function of wavelength is called spectrophotometer or spectrometer okay this is the only radio radiation electromagnetic waves okay due to the radio magnetic waves we have to separate the different types of samples okay have understood calorimeter if the instrument applies wavelength only in visible range means uh, already we know, know about the rays means uh, from the sunlight we have getting a different types of rays so some are we are visible means uh, seven colors we can visible that is known as visible light or visible wavelengths okay so that is known as vibgr also okay vibgr seven colors we are uh, visible so that is known as the visible wavelength or visible light or visible range also no problem next remaining are there cosmic rays infrared rays next uh, x rays so we can't uh, uh, visible that type of wavelength that type of rays okay i understood so next uh, principle of uh, spectrophotometer what is the principle of spectrophotometer spectrophotometer works on the principle of la loss of absorption which include means this is the absorption spectroscopy okay so in our chemistry two types of uh, waves are there emission waves and as well as uh, absorption waves so that absorption is including lambert's beer's law means beer's law and as well as second one is lambert's law so already we have learned in fifth semester beer's law and as well as lambert's law but here little bit introduction are given lambert's law states the amount of light absorb absorbed is proportional to the thickness of the absorbing material means uh, this is directly proportional to directly proportional to absorbed light and thickness of the absorption absorbing material thickness of the absorbing material means uh, i not is directly proportional to i i not is directly proportional to i so due to that we are getting the log means here we are differentiate differentiating that uh, equation so we are getting the log i not by i directly proportional to b okay b is the thickness of the absorbing material so where i not initial inten intensity of light i intensity of transmitted light okay b is the thickness of the absorbing material beer's law states that uh, the amount of light absorbed by the material is proportional to the concentration here absorbed light is directly proportional to concentration of the sample what is that concentration of the sample okay so therefore we are getting the log i not by i is directly proportional to c c is the concentration of the sample c is the concentration of the sam sample if we combine the above two equation we are getting the following equation so here given log i not by i is directly proportional to bc because of b is the uh, thickness of the sample c is the concentration of the sample so both terms are directly proportional are there so we are writing the equation log i not by i is directly proportional to bc therefore 
from that equation we are getting the log i not by i is equal to a b c i not by i is equal to a b c a is the constant absorbance it is a constant value absorbance value so absorbance is equal to a b c this equation is called beard's lambert's law this equation is called as beard's lambert law this combined law states that the amount of light absorbed is proportional to the concentration of the concentration of the absorbing substance and the thickness of the absorbing material with the help of the above equation we are, we can find out the unknown concentration of the substance by using the following formula okay so due to that formula we are we are find the concentration of the substances instrumentation of the spectrophotometer what is the instrumentation we can see the essential components of the spectrophotometer include stable and cheap radiant energy source and so here stable and cheap radiant energy source means so any type of radiation light you can take that is known as stable and cheap radiation energy source okay monochroma monochromator 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 means any type of monochromator we can take it is getting in laboratory next to third one is sample holder sample holder will be there so because of we can hold this sample with holder next detector already it is the instrument of spectrophotometer with that connecting with the connectivity will there and so that is known as detector detector next to fifth one is amplifier and recorder amplifier will be there with the spectrophotometer so we can arrange this uh, type of instrument then afterwards we can start the uh, practicals okay radiant uh, energy source materials which can be excited to high energy state by a high voltage electrical discharge or by electrical heating serve as excellent radiant source okay then so here we can take uh, excited high energy states by a high voltage electrical discharge electrical discharges are there different types of discharges we can take uh, that electrical voltage discharge and uh, different uh, source sources are available for different uh, regions of wavelength source of ultraviolet radiation source of visible radiation you can take ultraviolet also no problem uv rays or otherwise visible rays also no problem okay next uh, we can go to tools and technologies in biology source of in infrared radiation source of ultraviolet radiation most commonly used source of ultraviolet radiation are hydrogen lamp means so here we can use the hydrogen lamp or otherwise deuterium lamp and xenon lamp may also be used means so this is three types of source of radiations will be there so we can use hydrogen lamp also no problem we are getting in market next to deuterium lamp also no problem okay so deuterium means what hydrogen isotope that is known as hydrogen isotope deuterium next tritium also there so we are using hydrogen lamp and deuterium lamp and is as well as xenon lamp also no problem we can use for the ultraviolet radiation for source of visible radiation for tungsten lamp tungsten lamp means uh, the uh, in market uh, available lamp also no problem red lamp not uh, led lamp in olden days uh, getting lamp uh, that uh, lamp you can use that is known as tungsten lamp okay is mostly commonly used source of visible radiation carbon arc 
which provides more intensity visible radiation is used in small number of commercial available instruments and the carbon lamp uh, arc also no problem source of infrared radiation nernest glower and globar are the most satisfactory source of infrared radiation nernest glower consist of halo and halo rod and halo rod of zirconium and ytterbium means nernest glower consist means nernest glower lamp like will be there that is having halo rod halo empty rod will be there in that discharger so in that zirconium and ytterbium uh, ytterbium coating is there so that is also you can use for the in ir radiation for ir okay infrared the globar consists of silicon carbide rod which when heated emit radiation in the 1 to 40 micron region means silicon carbide rod is there in the globar so you can use that also no problem so it is give you the emission emission or emitted light 1 to 40 micron region globar is more stable than nernest glower okay more stable than nernest glower monochromator okay monochromator as the name suggest a monochromator converts a polychromatic radiation into its individual wavelength and isolates this wavelengths into very narrow bands okay very narrow bands narrow bands okay the component of monochromator are an entrance slit which ad admits polychromatic light from the source a collimating lens which collimates the polychromatic radiation on to the dispersion device okay dispersion device a prism uh, or a grating which breaks the radiation into component wavelength a focusing lens or a mirror which focus the light on to the sample holder and exist slit which allows the monochromatic beam to escape means monochromatic beam beam is there so light enter or i or otherwise light focus is known as beam the enters absorbly is mount mounted in a light tight box in the tight bo that box will be tight because of the light source is not and uh, uh, not uh, enters into other side okay grating are often used in place of monochromatic of spectrophotometer operating in operating in ultraviolet visible infrared region okay ultraviolet and infrared region the grating consists of highly aluminized surface etched with a large number of parallel grooves which are equally shaped grooves okay so parallel grooves parallel grooves are giving okay grooves which are equally shaped spaced okay sample holder sample to be studied in ultraviolet or visible region are usually gases or solutions and are put in cells known as cute cutes cuvettes what is that cuvettes cuvettes mean to for the visible region are made of either glass or sometimes quartz this is the glass or quartz quartz also there okay glass also no problem borosil glass or otherwise quartz quartz is the uh, one of the uh, stone we are getting 
in binds okay spots also no problem since glass absorbs in ultraviolet region quartz or silica cells are used in the region in this region used in this region standard width of cuvettes is usually 1 cm cuvettes how much cm 1 cm will be there so that is the standard okay detectors are device detector detectors are there in the spectrophotometer the most of the detectors depends on the photoelectrical effect where incident light liberates electrons from a small met, from a metal or other material surface since here detectors depends on the photoelectrical effect which are liberates the incident lights which are liberates incident lights electrons from a met metal means so that electrons are liberates from a metal metal in metal electrons are there that metals are liberating the this uh, light okay or otherwise uh, emitted liberates are emitted the uh, incident light okay the other material surface some are uh, some sort of may ex external circuits collects these electrons and measure their number as current number as current already we know electrons are carrying the electrical current from one place to another place the current is then proportional to the light intensity and therefore measure of it following are the important requirements for a detector include okay determine determine uh following are the important requirements for a detector include high sensitivity to the detection of low levels of radiation energy short response time long term stability electronic signal which is is the amplified for typical re readout apparatus most common used detectors are photovoltaic or barrier layer cell photovoltaic or barrier layer cell photo tubes photo multipliers photo diodes what is the photo tubes photo multipliers and photo diodes we can see amplification and read out device radiation detectors generate electronic signals which are proportional to the transmitted light okay electronic signals which are directly proportional to the transmitted light okay these signals need to be translated into a form a uh, form that is easy to interpret this is uh, accomplished by using amplifier ammeter potentiometer and uh, potentiometric recorders okay application of uh, spectrophotometry spectrophotometry is a versatile technique has device application and so we can separate the sample with this technique following are the important application of spectrophotometer in qualitative analysis and so the qualitative analysis in this technique is using next one in quantitative analysis what is the qualitative and quantitative qualitative means we can separate the cations and anions quantitative means uh, we can separate the samples means uh, 1 uh, 1 mm to uh, 2 mm like that quantitative quantity okay next uh, in enzyme assay enzyme assay also in molecular weight in molecular weight determination molecular weight determination okay molecular weight uh, already you know mass by Volume so molecular determination for in study of cis trans isomers 
and so in stereochemistry we are getting the cis trans isomers and so uh, if you can take uh, ethylene uh, two butene or otherwise uh, the uh, uh, glycols uh, or otherwise uh, dichloro halides so in that cis and trans isomers are there so due to that it cis and trans isomers we can separate this isomers other cycle psycho other physiochemical studies also in the physiochemical studies in also this photospectrometer is using in control of purification controlling of purification purification for also it is this uh, spectrophotometer is using spectrophotometer black diagram is given here once you can see principal instrumentation and application so first one is uh, source of light this is the source of light we are discussed now the sodium lamp also no problem or otherwise uh, any type of source of light so collimator lens so here this this here we are arranging the lens means the collimator lens next this is known as monochromator prism or grating prism you can take a prism because of this light is this light is split into a different visible lights means already we know seven color seven visible lights are there that lights are splitting splitting means uh, dividing okay wavelength selector 